Hi, I'm Raina Morgan with iHealth2. Today we're visiting with Dr. Paris Kidd, and he is the author of P.S. Nature's Brain Booster. Dr. Kidd, welcome. Thank you, Raina. Good to be here. This is an exciting book, very exciting, and because it has a lot of promise. But you talk about our aging population and that conditions like uh, Alzheimer's, you know, diseases like that are on the rise. What are the numbers like and, and how alarmed should we be? Well, Raina, there are two sets of numbers that we can look at. One is the estimated risk for developing dementia, which is mostly the Alzheimer's dementia. And the chances of that, uh, according to the Alzheimer's Association of the United States, is about 1 in 10 for people over 65. 1 in 10? 1 in 10 for people over 65 okay. uh, possibly will develop dementia if mm. nothing else changes in their lives. And for people over 85, the risk actually increases to 50-50. 50-50. And the association estimates that some 7.5 million Americans currently have some form of dementia. Well, you know, forgetting names or not being able to take a name and place it with a face that it goes with, that, that's across the board. Young people forget names and faces. Why should that be more significant for the elderly? Happens to all of us, right? Right, it sure does. <laughs> yeah, sometimes I wake up wondering what my name is. Uh, but, uh, Reina, I think the test is, and I think all of us uh, should be checking this out for ourselves, when we're with people our age, are we functioning about as well as they are? Or are we noticing that we're not coming up with the names, the faces, the addresses, the words, uh, the ability to understand the telephone numbers? as well as the people around us. If you're feeling a little bit sensitive to that, if you're not playing as well in the card game or in Scrabble, mm -hmm. you may want to be thinking about getting tested. And there's a condition called age-associated memory impairment okay. in which uh, these individuals are scoring in the lowest 5% of the test scores for their age those people are at a much higher risk of dementia. Okay. And so a person who's diagnosed with age-associated memory impairment or another condition closely related called age-related cognitive decline yes. is going to be uh, a person who wants to immediately get onto a dietary supplement program as one All example. Right. And the thing I was concerned about is that we have so many baby boomers who are coming of age. We're talking about us, huh? Yes, we're talking about <laughs> us. <laughs> yes. And, and so how, again, how alarmed should we be? I mean, should we be getting tested? Should, you know? Well, I already got very alarmed in my mid-19, sorry. I already got alarmed in my mid-40s when you, I you realized did. that that I was slipping, and that's what got me into brain nutrition. Oh, okay. And round about that time is when I was able to start working with PS, this fascinating brain nutrient. Fascinating, absolutely. And PS is a nutrient that can make a difference to memory and learning and other higher brain functions, the functions that we call cognition. Okay, and what is cognition? It's would you define that? I mean, in a few words. Uh, well, I believe it comes from the old Greek, meaning to know. To know, quality uh, of knowing. But essentially, it's it's all the functions of the cortex. Uh, oh. The, the, the functions of picking up stimuli from the environment, recognizing those stimuli, processing them, and then taking the appropriate mental steps to deal with them. But in, in everyday life, it's remembering where we left the keys, uh, being able to uh, think about uh, having an organized uh, list of what we want to do today, you know, the grocery list, right. uh, being able to remember our best friend's telephone <laughs> number. Mm -hmm. And these, all of these things that, that make us functional. Uh, in the workplace, it means that we're focused. Uh, mm -hmm. We can concentrate during our meetings. We can uh, uh, write and, and right. uh, process okay. information during the course of the day. All of these practical things that make us human. That's cognition. I think so, yeah. Okay. There are many, many ways to define it, but I, I think so. Thank you for joining us, Dr. Kidd, and you have a lot of interesting and exciting things to talk to us about. Well, thanks very much for having me. Mm -hmm.